world-class racing driver is no mean feat. Not only do you have to spend countless hours training, working to keep your body in a top physical form and make your way up from karting at a young age, but you must constantly change your driving methods to adapt to brand new regulations. High-tech simulators are used by every team, able to replicate the exact conditions for an upcoming race, reducing the amount of time needed for on-track practice. Naturally then, the transition to sim racing shouldn't really be a problem, as transferring their analogue racing skills should be an easy task for drivers of this calibre. The biggest challenge every driver faces is the lack of physical feeling from the car, but the racing itself is very similar. So, who are those that extend their passion to the virtual world, and have you come across any of their identity protected avatars yet? We've gone down the grid to find any inkling of sim racing experience to answer those burning questions. Starting off with Mercedes, Sir Lewis Hamilton is known to be fairly critical of using a simulator, saying that it detracts from the experience of real on-track driving, but he does also hold interest within the gaming side of racing. Alongside playing Call of Duty with Pierre Gasly and Charles Leclerc, he has also been a Gran Turismo brand ambassador since 2017, with GT Sport releasing a DLC in 2019 titled The Lewis Hamilton Time Trial Challenge. His name also appears in the opening credits of Gran Turismo 7. With a post on Instagram showing off his lap time of 1 minute 36.998 at Dragon Trail alongside a Playseat Sensation Pro Rig complete with a Thrustmaster TGT wheel, nothing has been seen regarding any online racing involvement. On the other hand, the newest Mercedes driver has been frequently involved within the sim racing scene. Showing off to the world in 2020 on his Instagram page, George's setup boasts an impressive SimLab P1 rig, Fanatec F1 base, Asher Racing F28-SC wheel and quadruple curved monitors. Not bad. During his second year at Williams in 2020, his efforts within the virtual F1 Grand Prix series were eye-catching, as he gained 7 podiums and 4 wins throughout the 8 race series for Williams Esports. While he did stream on Twitch under the username GR63, he unfortunately hasn't shown up on this platform for over a year now, probably due to his busy schedule. On to the most active Formula 1 team and driver within sim racing, Max Verstappen and Red Bull. The defending world champion has vocally praised virtual racing and esports continuously throughout his F1 career. A feature by Zego Sports' YouTube channel shows off his setup, complete with a precision sim engineering LM-X wheel, sim steering ultimate base, placey F1 ultimate rig and quadruple monitors. Needless to say, he takes this stuff very seriously, with the base alone costing over £3,500. Blimey. While driving for Toro Rosso at the time, he joined one of the most successful sim racing teams in 2015, Team Redline, and have remained there as a driver ever since. This is also the same year he successfully completed an overtake on Felipe Nazar on the outside of Blanchemont at Spa, where he tweeted a video of himself practicing this move with his sim racing teammates before the race. Somehow, during his busy F1 schedule, he still finds time to actively participate in multiple iRacing events, with his main and alternative accounts boasting an impressive 8,000 iRating. Unfortunately, however, two of his previous endurance outings in early 2022 have been unsuccessful. After starting second and taking the lead on the first lap of the 2022 Le Mans virtual race earlier in January, disaster struck on the 124th lap as the car lost control and slammed into the four chicane barriers, losing the left rear tyre in the process and unfortunately retiring from the race. A week later in the iRacing Daytona 24 hour, his team had another retirement due to an unfortunate power outage, leaving Verstappen unable to participate in the event. Hopefully he has better luck in future endurance events. As for the second Red Bull driver, very little has emerged for Sergio Perez in his sim racing outings. His only appearance within the F1 Esports Virtual Grand Prix series was in the Azerbaijan race, with his team at the time Racing Point and sim racer teammate Jimmy Broadbent, where he started 18th and finished in 15th place. His setup is quite impressive, however, as an old tweet of his shows off a Fanatec DD1 base, Cube Control's Formula Sport wheel, and a SimLab P1 rig. Nice. On to Ferrari and Charles Leclerc as he is another driver on the grid that praises the virtual experience, mentioning how sim racing helped with mental strength due to the lack of racing in 2020. He gained 5 podiums including 2 wins in the virtual F1 Grand Prix series and also took part in the 2020 Le Mans virtual with some unfortunate incidents. During the 8th hour, the car lost control going into Tertre Rouge and hit the barrier on exit, dropping to 4th place in the GTE class. Then, within the final half hour, the car strayed onto the gravel and lost a wheel in the Indianapolis corner, resulting in an 18th place finish. The Monegaskan driver may have multiple sim racing rigs for different disciplines, but his main setup comprises of a precision sim engineering GPX steering wheel, Leo Bodner sim steering 2 base, Placey F1 ultimate cockpit and quadruple monitors. Oh, and a banana suit. 
Unlike his teammate, however, Carlos Sainz has not been keen on sim racing as he prefers to spend his free time elsewhere, but that didn't stop him giving it a go. His only participation within the virtual F1 Grand Prix series resulted in a 10th place finish in China. As Carlos stated that he wanted a setup exactly like then teammate Lando's, a custom sim rig was set up by Cool Performance and includes a custom cube control steering wheel. Though he's clearly put in the time to reach 2401 I rating on iRacing, he hasn't been on the platform again since 2020. McLaren's number one driver, Lando Norris, has been a huge name within the esports scene, praising its uses and advantages over the real world form. He also sits alongside Max Verstappen in Team Redline, and regularly streams on Twitch to an audience of over 1.2 million followers, the most followed F1 driver on the streaming platform. His esports venture doesn't stop at racing, however, as he has founded a Halo organisation named Quadrant in late 2020, alongside Veloce Esports. This is where Carlos's inspiration to jump into the sim racing world came from, as Lando has a simulator from Cool Performance, complete with a precision sim engineering LM-PS steering wheel. An iRacing member since 2013, he currently holds a 5.5k i rating and has made 1,307 starts alongside 550 wins. That's a 42% win rate. Blimey. Outside of iRacing, he has also participated in the Virtual Grand Prix series, with fourth being his best result through six races, and he also finished the 2020 Le Mans Virtual Race in 25th place, due to a glitch occurring within Verstappen's stint. Though he's yet to return to the series, hopefully the upcoming Le Mans Virtual Race in 2023 will see Lando return to the event. His Aussie teammate, on the other hand, Daniel Ricciardo, has previously disregarded sim racing as he prefers to spend his time training or with his family and fears he could become addicted due to his competitive nature. However, he has recently stated that he will be giving it a try as there is more to it than just being a game. Pierre Gasly! <laughs> is another driver involved in sim racing. The Alpha Tauri driver has previously showed up multiple setups, one of his most recent pictures showing a precision sim engineering GPX steering wheel and a Simucube 2 Pro base, locked onto a custom made rig by Sector 1, with everything mounted on top of a D-Box Generation 1 haptic motion system. Lovely. His outings within the Virtual Grand Prix series have been largely unsuccessful, only reaching 12th and 20th place within the Azerbaijan and Canadian races respectively, though his 2020 Le Mans virtual attempt is way more impressive, as he raced for Veloce Esports alongside John Eric Verne, Jarno Otmir and Isaac Gillison, when they managed to reach an impressive 5th position, the best result out of all of the current F1 drivers. As for Yuki Tsunoda, he has admitted that his virtual racing experience is limited, although recently he's spoken about getting himself a sim rig. His only showing is through Red Bull's Beat the Pro Challenge on Gran Turismo, where he showed off his impressive lap at Suzuka in the Honda NSX Group 3, and tasked the players to beat a 2 minute dead 0.627. On to Aston Martin, and the only thing out there for Lance Stroll is a virtual lap of the Circuit of Americas, back in 2018 when he was racing for Williams. Yep, that's it unfortunately. But hang on, here comes to sub into the virtual seat for Aston Martin. He was involved in the first two races of the real season, so it's only fair to include him here. Nico was involved in the first race of the Virtual Grand Prix series, earning 11th place at the desert-based Bahrain. He also participated in the All-Star Esports Battle on R Factor 2, where he unfortunately finished in 21st place. Even if his results have been unsuccessful, he still deserves credit for his photogenic sim rig. His setup looks to be a Cube Controls Formula CSX2 and a Simucube 2 Pro base, housed inside another custom-made setup provided by Sector 1. As for the four-time world champion, Sebastian Vettel, you may be surprised to find that he has indeed participated in sim racing, considering his lack of online presence and focus on family and activism. Although his only known outing was a P12 in the Legends Trophy, he also deserves an award for the best-looking sim rig of all time. His final team in Formula 1, Aston Martin, created Sebastian a sim rig comprised entirely of the AMR21 chassis, and boy does it look spectacular complete with a whole load of speakers, triple monitors, and a precision sim engineering LM-PS steering wheel, his setup puts most sim rigs to shame. Just look at it. As the oldest member of the F1 grid, the current Alpine driver and two-time world champion is heavily involved within the virtual world. 
Fernando Alonso took part in multiple events within the All-Star series, including a win in the Legends Trophy race after starting from last place due to a reverse grid formation, and also a win in the Legends Indy race after starting from 21st. His participation efforts within the Le Mans virtual races have been fairly unsuccessful however, with a 17th place in 2020's version alongside Rubens Barrichello, and also an appearance as a team captain for the 36 Alpine car in 2022, which unfortunately ended with engine failure on the 263rd lap. His sim rig is in full display within the Amazon Prime video documentary Fernando, which showcases a custom setup by All In Sports, and features the podium racing wheel and base, and a widescreen monitor. Now, while Alonso has pulled out all the stops when it comes to sim racing, Alpine's second driver, Esteban Ocon, has something far more familiar to most of us, a G29 mounted on a tiny desk. But hey, with only the one peripheral, you too can be a Formula 1 driver. His only appearance within the Virtual Grand Prix series was for the Monaco race, where he failed to make the start, but he was being filmed for the broadcast at the time, so we do know he was using a Playseat Formula Red sim rig and a Fanatec base. The former Mercedes and current Alfa Romeo driver has an old and unexpected relationship with sim racing. Way back in the late 2000s, Valtteri Bottas was a known name within the Live for Speed platform, underneath the username Valley. A video from YouTuber TJBR shows Bottas battling it out for the podium at West Hill Circuit all the way back in 2007, alongside a message on the forums that mentions his busy racing seasons. As for his more recent appearances, his only race in the Virtual Grand Prix series was at Monaco, where he qualified in 7th place and finished the race in 11th. He also showed off his magnificent sim rig in 2020, which seems to contain a Fanatec podium racing wheel and base, all housed inside a Mercedes-themed Playseat Formula Intelligence cockpit. As for the latest F1 rookie, Zhou Guangyu has been rather private about sim racing, claiming he secretly plays in open lobbies within the F1 games. That had all paid off within the Virtual Grand Prix series, as he claimed victory in round 1, followed by a podium in his home round. Other than that, we haven't found many details around his virtual life, but hopefully you'll be able to race alongside him within an open lobby sometime. On now to Williams and Nicholas Latifi. The Canadian driver tackled every race of the Virtual Grand Prix series, with his best result being a fourth place finish at the Virtual Spanish Grand Prix. A blog post of his mentions his experience within open lobbies, Twitch streaming and the F1 games. He also mentions giving iRacing a go, where a Twitch clip shows himself winning a grand total of $80 within the Racing Edge Sim Racing series. As for his setup, it looks like he uses the ever popular Fanatec podium racing wheel and base, alongside a widescreen monitor. The other Williams driver has appeared regularly within the sim racing scene, alongside others we've already mentioned, and is probably best known for constantly yelling SHOTS! The Thai British driver has praised the use of sim racing, saying that fans are given the ability to connect with the drivers. As for his virtual appearances, he has been involved within seven races in the Virtual Grand Prix series, with one win and six podiums, and his iRacing account seems to have 104 starts, alongside 28 wins, with an impressive 3,400 iRating. His setup is similar to Lando's and Science's, that being the custom-made cool performance sim rig, and most likely the Precision Sim Engineering LM-PS steering wheel. Taking over from Alex at the last minute and impressively gaining a 9th place finish, Nick De Vries certainly deserves a mention in this video. The 2021 Formula E champion has been seen using the Mercedes simulator within a Formula E video, but doesn't seem to show an interest in esports as his only two outings were rather unsatisfactory. Still though, his debut points finish proves he is F1 material. Finishing things off with the Haas team, Kevin Magnussen has previously stated that he's not very interested in sim racing, although his dad, Jan Magnussen, has participated in multiple virtual events. In May 2022, however, Asetek Simsports announced Kevin as their brand ambassador, with a video announcement showing off their line of sim racing pedals. We'll, we'll take some for our rigs if you have any spare. Cheers, Kevin. Last but not least, it's Mick Schumacher, who shares the same opinion on sim racing as his teammate. In a 2019 interview with Gazetta, Mick stated that online races do not give him the same emotions as racing on the circuit. That's a shame to hear, but hopefully we'll still see him take to the virtual track now and again. Maybe he could be won over. And that's it. Every current F1 driver and their involvement or lack of involvement in the world of sim racing. Who surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this and hit that notification bell to catch these videos as they are released. In the meantime, thanks for watching, keep it pinned, and have a great day.